thought I'd just sit down to do a little chit chat about trying to be fit and healthy in an Indian household. Most girls that are like my target audience, girls on my programs do live, the majority of them do live with their families and with their parents and the majority of them are in kind of South Asian households. So it is a little bit more difficult to actually be, to actually start your health and fitness journey when the people around you aren't on that journey. They might not support that journey, they might find it weird, they might find your goals kind of weird, but also it's just hard in terms of eating and exercise. So if we talk about eating first, your family will predominantly cook dinner for you or cook for you, which is completely fine. When I get home, my mum will make dinner for all of us. So, you know, why wouldn't I have it? But the thing is, if you have a goal, for example, if it's fat loss and you need to be on a caloric deficit and you've got a plan and a program to follow, whether you've created it or someone, you know, a PT has created it for you, you do need to stick to a caloric deficit. Now, if you're kind of being like, in the middle 50 50 about it and you know you're trying to be as good as you can but at the end of the day you're going to eat your family's food it realistically you won't be able to track the calories you are going to hinder a little bit of progress and growth there which is why most people that are in this fitness industry cook their own meals track their own meals have more control over what they're eating doing their own food shop and you do need to have that level of independence and control to be able to follow my plans and actually you know follow along with a good kind of whether it's a caloric deficit or caloric surplus plan so you can actually make some progress and of course South Indian food or South Asian food can be healthy so you know if this isn't always easy or possible and obviously you can't really move out all the time maybe you don't drive you can't do your own shop then I would encourage your parents to cook healthier make healthier decisions and also to go on the food shopping with them so you're helping them as well but also to be able to kind of pick your own food and if anything it will be you can cook in batches so if you've got like a healthy meal on your program or you want to eat something healthier today rather than something your parents are cooking you can batch cook for the whole family you can cook together as a family and you're also encouraging healthy decisions to your parents as well and you know genetically if we know anything south asians do deal with a lot of kind of health issues especially as they get older because of you know what they've kind of been eating as they're growing up and in their everyday household situation so you know you're helping out your parents as well again everything else like getting weighing scales and trying to measure your food and stuff should be you know adhered to and you can definitely kind of get away with making your healthy like breakfast, lunch, snacks in a South Asian household. But I do understand like some, you know, some households do cook dinner together or want to sit down and have dinner together. Now you always could kind of tiptoe into it, maybe have dinner with your family or have what they're eating occasionally, maybe a few times a week, cook something of your own. In terms of exercise, I know some households can be quite stereotypical and especially if you are working out at home but at the end of the day you just need to let them know why you're exercising and if anything it's not all just about aesthetic goals it's about being healthy it's about looking after your body so you don't have issues later on and similarly with the you know cooking healthy part of it you can also encourage your family and your parents to kind of exercise with you you know maybe take your mum along on an ab class maybe teach your mum how to lift a few weights during lockdown i did this i actually helped my grandma I taught her how to bloody like squat and how to like deadlift i taught my mom how to do lunges holding weights i taught her how to squat holding a weight you know and it's something that you can all kind of enjoy as a family and i think it's really really important for our generation to kind of make health and fitness a norm in our families because i 100 percent can probably bet on most households not being the pinnacle of health and fitness or very much even close you know being a good role model to your parents as well which definitely it can be especially as we're getting a little bit older and our parents are getting a little bit older but yeah this is just like a really general chat on kind of growing up in a south asian household and wanting to be fit and healthy but having those particular barriers in the way and you know my biggest tip would be to just get your parents on board if anything you know drag them to the gym anything like that there's so many questions about how to start health and fitness and how to navigate through this new world when 
you have you know no kind of in life role models around you and it's kind of taboo in our society or i'd like to say it was taboo not so much now but i know there's still a lot of households that you know are still maybe a little bit old-fashioned so yeah this was just a really quick chit chat um i hope you enjoyed it if you have any comments or thoughts then drop them down below don't forget to follow me on my socials and i will see you next week